What topic is this? What topic is this? That's right, systems of equations. So this is gonna be following solving equations. So if you're looking at the math knowledge uh, boot camp, so that progress dashboard, it's gonna make sense in terms of the progression because you have solving equations, then you have solving inequalities, then you got systems of equations right after that. So this is going to be again, unit five, systems of equations. And again, that's from the math knowledge course. Now, a part of people, um, is there another version of systems of equations that you should probably know how to do as well? Because it shows up in math knowledge, the systems of equations show up in arithmetic reasoning. Remember guys, you're only gonna get as far as the materials that you use. So if you haven't taken advantage already of our Memorial Day sale, you can get up to $100 off of our plans for a short time only. That way you can raise your score and get the job you want. We make the process as easy as humanly possible because you don't have to guess on what's gonna be on the test. All you have to do is once you sign up, all you have to do is sit down and put in effort because everything is lined up for you. So if you're tired of all the guesswork and all the frustration and all the test anxiety, we've got your back. Stop holding yourself back. You know that you need help. Get into it and let's ace the ASVAB together. I'm Coach Anderson as always. There's my phone number. Check out the details of the program here and use the code MD23 to get that discount. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's ace the ASVAB. Does it show up in arithmetic reasoning? Yes, it does. So when it comes to math knowledge, remember, math knowledge is the pure math side of things. It's the pure math. Just like you see it right there, it's laid out for you, just do it. Now, when you look at the other side, arithmetic reasoning, that's word problems, that's context. Those are situations that you apply the math to. So yes, that's gonna be unit seven and when it comes to the arithmetic reasoning as well, when you mix word problems into it. But let's go ahead and focus on what we have in front of us here. The goal of the problem is solve the following system of equations. And just as a reminder, just to keep things casual with you, a system of equations just means a group of equations that talk about the same variables. Again, a system is just a group. And when it comes to a system of equations, it's a group of equations that use the same variables. So what do you notice here? This first one uses X. The second one uses X. This, second one, this first one uses Y. The second one uses Y. So all we're saying is that we're using the same letters that represent the same numbers across the system. That's it. And because that fact is true, it makes things, honestly, a lot easier to deal with. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean. My party people. If we take a look at this, one thing that you may not have known is that you can combine equations together. So this may seem like a far-fetched idea. This might confuse a lot of folks, but this is the idea that we're playing off of. And I hope that this can give you a little bit of, of, of a head start when you do get to this point. So for example, everybody, is it true that one plus one equals two. Just yes or no casually in the chat box. Go ahead. Sounds good. Now, uh, another equation. You tell me if this is true. Is it true that five is, uh, let's go ahead and say two plus three. Is five equal to two plus three? Okay. So all I'm saying is that if you have one equation that's true and another equation that's true, if you add or subtract those equations, they are still true. So if I go ahead and just say, hey, my party people, let's go ahead, one plus one plus five. Everybody, one plus one plus five, let's write that down. There it is. And then that's gonna equal, and on the right side, we'll do the same thing, two plus two plus three. Everyone, is that equation true? Is one plus one plus five the same as two plus two plus three? Are those the same? Some of us might be saying no. Hmm. Well, if you don't believe me or if you don't agree or you don't think that it's gonna add up, let's see what happens. So let's do the math here. One plus one, that's gonna be two. Two plus five, that's gonna be seven. 
Let's check the other side here. 2 plus 2, that's 4. 4 plus 3, that's going to be 7. Voila! All I just showed you was a very fundamental principle of math that everyone really knows. Not everybody sees it like this, but this is the way I want you to see it, to see exactly what I'm about to do. Basically, all I'm saying is, if you have equations, you can add them together. Because if equations means this side equals this side, well, if you add two equations, you're adding the same things from each side. They equal the same thing. So, it's all good, Joanna. Like, this is a learning process. It's all good. So, here's what I'm going to show you. One thing that I noticed is that if I look at one of these equations by itself, let me just go ahead and get this one out of the way. Let me get that out of the way. If I'm taking a look at just that top equation over there, my party people, you can't solve that. You cannot solve an equation that has two variables. Here you have x and you have y. There's no way you could get x by itself because the other side's gonna have y. You're not gonna get a solid number. So that's a big, big problem in math. You can't solve that if it's just one equation with two variables. You need the same number of equations as variables to be able to do this. That's why this right here is given to you because you can work with those two equations together a little bit of trickery going on, but you can work with those two together to get the answer. Watch this. Number one, what I noticed is, look, I got a positive 2x and a minus 2x. Everyone, what happens when you have a positive number and then you subtract that same number, like 10 minus 10 or 17 minus 17 or 100 minus 100? What always happens? It cancels out. That's right. So watch this. I'm going to add these two equations together. I'm going to add these two equations together, and I'm going to make sure that you really understand that this is going to be that center line right here. So if I add 2 and then I add a negative 2 together, 2 minus 2, again, that's going to cancel out. Does everybody here agree with that step? That's really the biggest thing. Does everyone here agree with that part right there? If I add these equations together, the 2x and the minus 2x cancel out. That's the biggest thing. If you can get that, the rest of this is going to seem very familiar. Very familiar. Because now we have 4y plus 3y. Everyone, if you have four of these y's plus three of those same y's, how many y's do you have now? That's going to be seven of those y's. OK, great. And now we have negative 8 plus 22. Remember, everybody. Negative 8 plus 22 is the same thing as saying 22 plus negative 8, which is the same thing as saying minus 8. What is 22 minus 8? What is 22 minus 8? Is it positive or negative 14? It's positive. I want to test your confidence here. I want to see how confident you are. That is a positive 14. Because think about it. If you're combining a negative 8 and a positive 14, the 14, the positive number, is the bigger number. The negative 8, yeah, it's 8, but it's negative, so the bigger number is the positive one, so when you combine them, it's going to stay positive. It's going to stay positive. Gotcha, Olivia. There we go. So now from here, we got 7y equals 14. Everybody, is this solvable? Is this easy to solve? Is that easy to solve? Absolutely. Divide by 7 on both sides. And we are set. We're in business. Divide by 7, and we'll get y equals 14 divided by 7 is 2. So boom, we have one of our variables. If we take a look at the answer choices, everybody, which answer or answers are the only one with 2 for y? Yeah, so even if you're running out of time, you can absolutely say, that because that doesn't match and that doesn't match, these are wrong. These are the only ones that match so far. Y equals 2 is what we got for Y. So boom. That's these two answers. It's either going to be A or B. Now to complete this, to figure out what X actually is, is a very straightforward process. Remember, these equations that we have right here, use X and use Y. We just found out what y is. 
So the power that we now have, my party people, is that we can take that y equals 2 and plug it into any of these equations and we'll be set. Watch this. I'm going to plug it back in. Let me mark this down for you. We are going to plug this back in. So plug y equals 2 back into, and we can pick any one of them. It doesn't matter. The first one or the second one, it doesn't matter. Just make a decision, and I'll do it in the first one. 2x plus 4y equals negative 8. We can plug it back in and watch what happens. We have 2x plus 4 times 2 equals negative 8. Everyone, 4 times 2 is going to give me what? 4 times 2 is going to be 8. What you may be thinking if you're saying 16 is 4 squared. This is not 4 squared. This is just going to be 4 times 2. And that's going to be 8. And so from here, look at that. This is now an equation that we can solve because we're, done, we're not dealing with two different variables. We just have one variable because the other one we knew its value. We plugged it in and now we just have to clean things up. All we have to do is clean things up. So first thing we're going to do is subtract 8 from both sides. Once we subtract 8, this is going to be a very easy mistake that people make. A lot of people think that negative 8 minus 8 cancels out. That is not correct. If you are at negative 8 and then you take away 8 more, negative 8 means you already took away 8. If you took away 8 more, that means you have taken away 16. You are at negative 16. Does that make sense, everybody? At this point here, we are at negative 16. And now from this point, again, we're just treating this like we're solving an equation. And so we'll divide both sides by 2. Everyone, negative 16 divided by 2 is going to be what? Kalanji, thanks for letting me know. That's going to be negative 8. And that's going to be your value for x. And we see that that's the value that's shown right here. And that's what makes a the correct answer answer and as always my party people thanks for watching you can subscribe with that button right there and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there but most importantly if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way every step of the way with my support there's that link at the bottom left go ahead click that link watch the video on how the program works subscribe and raise your score